Hey there, Heli Freaks. Got some uh, canopies in. Got three canopies today. Um, here's one of them. Now, this is a TDF, but it says TDR, but um, they use the same canopy. This is on my Henslet. Freaking awesome looking canopy. Really bright. Just beautiful. Uh, the other one. So I bought two. He threw this one in for free. Because it's got a few chips, got a little crack here, some chipping there. Um, otherwise, paint doesn't look perfect on the Suno always screws up paint on these. I don't know why they always do, but you ain't gonna see it in flight. It's pretty awesome. These are heavy fiberglass. Original ones are, I'll show you one in a second. This is super sharp too. I'm not gonna pop it on. It's too it's too um tight on these, so I don't like that. So when it's closed, it'll be nice. That's just sweet too. Beautiful. Now he was he sent me two of the same ones, these two, which is fine, it's beautiful. But I asked for I sent him a picture too. So send me these two and then the free green one. I don't know what he thought I meant, but oh well. What can you do? It's the third weird sale I've had in the last month. People aren't paying attention. Um, here's another uh, canopy I got. This is pretty cool. I don't. It's not my favorite colors, but it's not bad. Um, here's another one from Spencer Key. Did this one. So with the, this is an original Henslet canopy. Super super light. With Henslets you can get them black, white, red. I think orange or yellow, I don't remember the, the canopy. And the colors all the way through super light fiberglass. And then you buy the, the stickers, or you don't buy them, you, you get to pick your sticker color. He did yellow, with the yellow windshield, he did a cutout up top. It's really cool, helps cool everything down. Um, you, you can take these letters off if you want to. So that's that, that's a really cool canopy. I like it. Um, the originals here, original white you can get. Just like that, and you just, that's what I got. These marks are marker marks to place your stickers. And you wipe them off with brake cleaner, that's what he tells you to do. Um, the, I mean, these things are ridiculously light, but they're very strong, very strong canopy. Um, one of the easiest canopies to get in on and off in the business. They just, the front, it doesn't rub on anything at the bottom like a lot of helis. It's on these rubber things here. And then the two pins here, you can put quick mounts, mag whatever the hell you want, magnets. I just, I use the cotter pins, they work well. It takes two seconds, it's not a hassle. Really nice canopy. Um, I've got green stickers with a gray silver windshield, metallic silver, and the silver, uh, we call this, it's called a rooster, I think, the TDF rooster, or something. I, I forget what the hell it's called. Um, so it's going to be really sharp. I've got the Henslet silver or in green the Henslet lettering Henslet helicopters for the boom it'll see you know it just says Henslet helicopters but all the way across so it's gonna be sweet so I got one two three four five six canopies for this beast ready to crash them all sweet it's gonna be cool I hope not running the uh, just some updates hobby wing 130 with a fan uh, since switching over to the X Nova from the Scorpion don't need the fan anymore. Nothing's overheating. The motor's staying cool. There was something wrong with that or that Scorpion motor. It's a 4030, 470 kV. This is a 600 size motor in the 700. I'm running the uh, Ultimates, RT Ultimates. Amazing blades, crazy. I think it's 110 tails or 120 or 115. I don't remember. It's got almost a six ratio or five to one, five to one or six to one ratio. Doesn't really need much more authority. I run this at 12 or 1100, 12, and 1300. Plenty of power. It's, uh, it's almost as light as a lot of 600s. Ready to fly. I run it at 7s. You could put uh, 8s, 9s, 10s, 11, 12s, whatever you want. It runs it's so damn light. It runs whatever the hell you need. Really cool helicopter. It's one of my favorite. Compact, light. Had a lot of hard autos, never broken a landing gear. It's real nice.
Um, head's immaculate. Beautiful, beautiful holly. All right, so that's cool. New canopies in. Got another motor coming in, another Contronics. I'd love to put it on this heli, but we'll see. Not sure what I'll do with it. Yet, it's a 600 size motor, the Contronics, but we'll see. Um, other than that, I did my maiden <coughs> on the velocity yesterday. Went perfect, nothing wrong, no crashes. Running the uh, Neo V plane, which has stability if you want, it's really cool. Um, uh, ran this for the second time, first day on Sunday I had the CG way off. I mismarked the wing, I misread the instructions. Couldn't figure out why it was nose diving, and I learned a lesson. Um, nose diving, I thought, was front end too heavy, so I kept moving the uh, battery backwards, exacerbating my problem because it was actually tail heavy. So, what will happen with tail heavy plane, it'll go up and down, up and down, and it'll rock the wings just absolutely uncontrollable. I mean, it was terrible. But once I got the CG sorted out, um, this thing, you can put a 1,000 milliamp 3S battery and it runs all freaking day. It's insane. I was up there 15 minutes and I came down and the battery was at 3.9 volts or something. I forgot, 3.9 something. I mean, insane. I could have probably gone another 10 more minutes. I mean, half the time you're gliding, the damn thing is so light and it's got a lot of wing area. Um, I have landed in the tree twice. Once there once there. Yard's kind of crowded for a sailplane. I mean, it doesn't have the control like something like this in a 3D plane where you can, I mean, you can run up against a wall and pop the elevator and go straight up. I um, mean, yeah, I don't have that with a sailplane. You, you ain't getting that kind of control. Need a little more room, so I either got to stay high in this yard and stay the hell away from the trees or go to a field and fly this thing. Well, unless they fly more and get really good at it, I, I don't know. We'll see. Really cool folding prop though. It's, it's really neat. Silent. Sounds good in the air. Ah, uh, that's it. I'm not going to fly today. It's already dark and cold. Mm, don't feel like it. It's still Christmas here, yes. Alright. Peace out.